Hey everyone, it's me, Anime Gaming Nerd here, bringing you the top 30 best selling mangas in Japan of 2012. I decided to make this video just to discuss about my far side. I'm not going to talk about the whole list. I'm going to start, I am going to talk about the whole top 10, but not about, about the entire list. Just us, but I'll talk about some of the manga that are in the top 10, 10 that I find interesting at them. Alright, at number 26 is Billy Bub, which I do Billy Bub chapter reviews. I read it every week. And overall, I am pretty glad it's in the top 30. It's a, it's a hilarious manga. I highly suggest you check out a 40 anime, but the manga gets my seal of approval. The next one is Kitekyo Hime Reborn, which I heard that ended recently. And I heard the ending pretty much sucked. It really didn't provide any closure. It made a whole point of the series. It's pointless, and it's like, hmm. And it's like a lot of people aren't satisfied with it because it just more so ends. I hear. In fact, the ending was announced a week before it came out. The next thing one is, the next one I find interesting is, this was at number. This manga was holding the number three spot last year, and it's now at. At number 18, it dropped 15 spots, and that is Blue Exorcist. Oh yeah, I should be discussing these numbers. Billy Bob sold over... Eh, actually, yeah, actually, I don't really feel like it. Yeah, Blue Exorcist... Dang. Dang, you dropped down all the way to number 18. It, I won't lie, this hasn't been the best year for Blue Exorcist. The new arc is okay so far. I mean, it's nothing that interesting. That appeals to me at least at the moment, but some of the new things they were trying, like the artificial portal to the demon world, that I find interesting. The whole seven rumors thing, not really to my liking right now, but we've only had one chapter of that so far, of the a couple chapters in New York, and the seven rumors only started with the newest chapter. But next one, but also some of our mangas I've been hearing some good things about is Attack on Titan and Skit Dance. Skit Dance. I honestly didn't know these mangas were that successful. Successful. I've been thinking about checking them both out. I know Skit, Skit Dance is a little different than your usual take, but hey, Clannad's in my top 5 anime. The next series is that I find. <laughs> oh, Kubo! Kubo, Kubo, Kubo! How did Bleach in its shittiest arc manage to be number 8 last year? Wow! This year, Bleach is number 12 in its best arc since Soul Society. Oh, wow. I seriously don't think Bleach is going to last for another 10 years. At the most, i say about 3 or 4. But yeah. Wow. Kubo. And I actually just noticed this. At number 11 was Toriko. This actually caught me off guard. I've been, I do follow up showing Jump Rankings. Toriko does pretty well. At number 11, it was also another manga I've been thinking about checking out. And at number 10 was Bakuman. Now, this is another manga, again, I've been thinking about checking out. Mainly because it's from the guys who made Death Note. And Death Note's one of my favorites. And I also would like to see how a manga anime gets made. And Bakuman, I hear, a great, really great way to see it. Number 8 is Hunter X Hunter. Alright, only in the top 10 now. Number 9 is Magi. Haven't read Magi. I heard the anime is pretty good. Do I hear the scan layers for the manga are way far behind. Number 8 is Hunter x Hunter. I've seen a few couple episodes of the 2011 Hunter x Hunter anime. It, it probably, I hear, does get better, but my main, I do hear it's coming back soon, but my main problem with Hunter x Hunter is that it's on hiatus all the time. I'm already waiting for one manga to get off of hiatus, which is High School of the Dead, and it gets annoying. Number seven, Silver Spoon. Haven't heard of it. It, like, what is Silver Spoon? I gotta see this. Huh. Doesn't really sound that interesting to me. Next one is Kimi, Kimi Ni To. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. How it looks basically a shoujo romance. It looks like a shoujo. I'm not the biggest fan of shoujo. I've seen some, but not really the biggest fan. Why? Why? 
Does this manga need to be number five? And Billy Buff, Blue Exorcist, and Bleach aren't in the top ten. It's mother fucking fairy tale. If you don't read fairy tale, you don't understand how horrible this current arc is that's been going on for the past year. It literally, it is worse than the full Brie arc in Bleach. It is as bad, if not worse, than the Fourth Great Ninja War arc of Naruto. And I hate those two arcs, full Brie and Fourth Great Ninja War, so much. Why, fairy tale? You, you were all, you were so good up till the Tinjamo Island arc. There's like, fucking out of nowhere, Hero Mashima decided just to go troll, troll, and trolling. Uh, uh, why? Number four is Space Brothers. Uh, I've heard some good things about the anime, haven't heard much about the manga, but I hear it's a rather unique series. Number three is Naruto, which it doesn't surprise me that Naruto's in the top three, I mean. <sighs> Number two is Kokoro no Baskets, which is a series I've been thinking about checking out. And I'm glad to hear this at number two, you know, I haven't seen this out, because I've heard that the author of this manga has been getting some death threats recently. In which has led to some offense for the manga being cancelled. It's like all over the place with this manga. But it, I hear it's a sports series. I'm thinking about watching the anime first before I see the manga. And then probably before I read the manga. And at number one is One Piece, baby. Oh, One Piece. And just like usual, One Piece's numbers are just so high compared to the rest. Like... Crocodile Baskets is about 8, 8 million sold. One Piece is over 23 million sold. Dang. One Piece definitely the, does deserve a lot of the hype it gets. But yeah, overall, my thoughts on this list. Overall, this is pretty shocking compared to the past, last year. Year. Yeah, because... Like, Hunter x Hunter, that was not on the top 10 best-selling mangas last year. Maybe it's because I believe there was some... Ch uh, we got... There was quite a few chapters this year. But, yeah, that thing... That shocked me. And just how Bleach... Like, I've been seeing some of the Shonen Jump rankings. Yeah, people are not taking too kindly to Bleach around these those parts. Blue Exorcist drop shocked the hell out of me. That, I think, was the biggest surprise of this list. But, yeah... Overall, oh, overall, this was a nice surprise list. But yeah, anyways, I'm Anime Game Nerd signing out. Peace.